Road.fm. Gear up. What in the is Biden doing? What's up, nomads? What the heck is Joe Biden doing? He doesn't even know. Did he create a secret commission to literally go through the Bible and set out to do everything God said not to do? He's creating an unemployment disaster. His administration is taking away the will to work and to fight. Not only did he cancel, what, 70,000 jobs in his first 48 hours as a fraudulent president, but he's now giving people the incentive not to go back to work. They are introducing socialism in quickly. Universal income, 99-year mortgages, all that's coming. And guess where it's already happening? In China. Did they just hand Biden the playbook and say, hey, get to it? And don't forget, China owns probably half the United States. The land, the utility companies, they've bought it all. So how are people supposed to go back to work after making a few grand a month sitting on their rump? If a regular job pays 900 a week to work 40 hours, right? That's getting up early, driving in traffic, potential tickets, car upkeep, fuel, which is going through the roof, or you got to take ride share. Those prices are going up. Now you got federal mask mandates. You got to wear a mask or you're going to get fined and possibly imprisoned. All this nonsense going on, right? To go to work for 40 hours a week, deal with people, deal with attitudes, and you're getting paid $900, which is taxable. Okay. Or your unemployment pays you to sit home, get free food, get free medical, $1,000 a week, free cell phone, free cable, and utility assistance. What are you going to choose? Sincerely think about that while we take a quick break. Somebody asked me a question. They said, how would you fix the government structure? I'd start by overhauling the entire government. Max term limits of eight years for all politicians across the country, no matter what office you hold, you're doing eight years tops. And to boot, you'd have to be voted in because each term would hold four years. So you can only do two terms at four years, max eight years. No more lifetime politicians. That's done. With the president being limited to eight years max, but Congress is not. Guess who's really in charge? And where all the dirty swamp creatures live. Guess who's taking all the under the table deals? Because if I have a special interest, right? And I can get to a politician and give them a check and say, here's 22 million. You only make it 150,000 a year. Oh, I'm sorry. They gave themselves a $45,000 raise last year. So now they're upwards of 200,000. But if I'm able to hand them a $22 million check and say, listen, every time I call, answer the phone and let's get this done. I now own that politician. We can't say they all do it, but I'm sure there's some. But many keep asking with the horrible job people like Pelosi are doing, how do they get reelected all the time? She's been in there longer than a lot of Americans been alive. So the simple answer, is it Dominion Software? You know where I'm going. I don't have to say it. So final thought here, folks. If people really need the assistance, that's one thing. I'm not barking on you guys. If you really need it, if Biden has taken your jobs, if this fake COVID scandemic has shut down your business or your industry, that's not who I'm talking to. But when people are purposely losing their jobs in order to get free money and milk the system, or they just won't go to work, because they're making more sitting home on their rump, that is a problem. But God addressed that in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. It clearly says, those unwilling to work will not get to eat. What's going to happen when the government shuts off that spigot of free money and free resources? There's going to be a lot of people in trouble. Thank you for listening. If you're ready to make the decision and give your life to Christ today, 
stay tuned for the prayer of salvation. For more information, please visit our website at www.road.fm. Again, that's R-O-A-D dot F-M. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the podcast on your favorite platforms, and we ask that you share it with at least 10 people to spread the word. We are listener-supported here, so on our website, please visit the donate page for ways to contribute and our shop page for the latest merchandise. Remember, we love you, and Godspeed, everybody. Repeat after me. Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and lead me on the road to salvation. I pray this prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.